Oh, if you've never smelt the fur pitch, oh, I wish I tell you I could bottle that. Oh. Lovely. Good morning, friends. How are we doing? It's chilly. I got my stove going over there, as you guys can see there. Um, yeah, it's it's chilly. It's it's quite chilly. We woke up with frost this morning. It's first morning we had frost this morning. But I'm going to tell you something, friends. Uh, well, I've got some Christmas orders. Well done, wives. Well, I call them the sneaky wives. Sneaky wife axe builds. That's what I call them. <laughs> there's There's been some wives. Good for you. Get ladies. I... I there's some that watch the channel. There's some that just hear the chainsaw and Billy Ray <laughs> in the background. I get it. I love you, ladies. You know what? Your men watch the channel. They love the axes. All men love axes. I mean, well, not all men. I shouldn't say that. Most men do. And power saws and wood and stuff. I mean, come on. We do, fellas. Hey. Axes, wood, Lyle. Yes, Lyle, you from Michigan, buddy. It's you. This is your day. This is your special, special day, Lyle. I love you, buddy. Thanks for watching the freaking channel. Axes and power saws for life, pal. Split that wood. Get that heart pumping. <laughs> right? Fit for life. Put an axe in your hand. It's really guy all a guy needs. Plain and simple. It's how I see it. Lyle from Michigan. Thank you, buddy, for watching this channel and supporting us. Glad you like it here, pal. Over and out. Anyways, friends, listen. Uh, uh, Stephen Clays, I think it's Clays or Clayes. I can't pronounce your last name, but Stephen, I met you and your daughter uh, last year, I think it was, at the Timmy's. And he gave me an axe head. And he also sent me about three or four more here. It's an incredible shape. Oh, look at the freaking... Look at the pole on that sucker. Look at the freaking pole on that. It's a Norland. Buddy, Stephen, thanks so much. I don't know if you knew that or not, but that's cool. Thanks, buddy. It's a freaking genuine Norland, friends. <laughs> Show them some love and give them a new home. Thank you, Steve. Two, five. My daughter still remembers meeting you last spring. That's so cool, buddy. Thanks so much. Your other one went to a really good home, Stephen. This is great, buddy. What a guy you are. Um, I had to take it down, but I left. You can see Wood Slasher Kelly works. You can see it there. Look at it's deadly. Somebody right? to Somebody so to I had to, go, I had to go into it. I wasn't about to leave that big, horrible hook. So anyways, this thing's going to be deadly. It's going on a replacement, <clears throat> a replacement Arvika handle. These things come up 45 bucks after tax. They're freaking incredible. Look at the grain. You just can't, you can't, you can't. Look at the grain. I mean, as far as straight grain, everybody's, yeah, who's straight grain? Well, these are them. They're beautiful. They are. They're, all, they're soaked in linseed. <laughs> Excuse me, soaked in linseed. That's the only thing that I'm not, I'm not big on. I'm not. I, I don't I don't know why I'm just not well I do know why it leaves room for shrinkage that's why that's why I don't like it so it probably has pluses too I just see the negative in this one especially here I wish they would soak it here and don't soak that I do that's what I think anyway a lot of woodwork needs done because these are an Arvika replacement handle okay this is not an Arvika eye so there is a lot of work to be done here to get this to fit. And that's what I'm starting on. But I'm gonna document this freaking ax, friends. Wood slasher, I'm documenting it. Hey, yeah, okay, talk to you in a minute. Okay, I'm just telling you, these are the ones that, that you start out and you're like, okay, this is wicked. We're starting out with it. This is wicked. Look at friends. These handles, I, I scream by them. I do, I swear and scream by them. <laughs> I do. Look at friends. It just, it's literally just 
just on it. It's filling every freaking spot. I'm just gonna give a little pop skis, see what happens. It's not gonna go on real far, but it's gone on. Oh yeah, see it's taking wood there and there. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be scary. This is gonna be scary. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here we go. <laughs> oh, I don't want to start. I don't want to start. I get going goofy when I. <laughs> oh, I got to stop. Look at it, you guys. <laughs> you... <laughs> it's just so funny to me sometimes, friends. I. I it's... Oh. <laughs> okay, wait. Wow. <sighs> there it is. Okay. So you can see, look, right? It's it's tight, like really tight. Here, let's hit that. There we go. There, see it get dark like that? That's easier now, it works better. Okay, now, hey, friends, I gotta stop for a sec. I gotta stop. <laughs> friends, it's winter. We're going into another winter season. Friends, I didn't have this last year. I, 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 didn't, I didn't have it. I want to thank everybody who's part of this thing, who's part of the Bucking Army crew that came and helped me build this bunker. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just, I, I didn't have it, and now I do, and it's just like, this is amazing. I get to come in here in the freezing cold winter. You guys remember when I was in the carport and freaking seeing my breath and cold, well, it, was, it, was, it was what it was. It was what it was. But this axe, going back to this axe, so... Another thing about this axe, friends, if you'll notice, see here, it, there's a huge, uh, I'm talking the top of the axe now, right? On, in there, it was smashed on top, so, oh! So friends, check this out. This is what we do with, with, uh, with this ordeal. It's pristine on the bottom, but on the top, it's been mushroomed and smashed right over. So Mr. Scotty Gagnon was such a kind man to give me this. And what I do is I put her in the old vise and I got a metal bit here and it works lovely. It really does, friends. But I go through a lot of air. That's looking good. Real good. Okay. I love it. <laughs> Sorry, friends. <laughs> All right, good. Now, I got to do some more work with this thing. Now, listen, here's another thing. Yeah, see? Yeah, like, look at that. We're, we're taking wood, friends, when we do that. So, I, I like a, a really good fit, hey? So, this is a good technique. Don't, don't be afraid to utilize this in your axe making or your any of your woodworking fitting tools you know what i mean i'll i'll, I'll let you do that i'll give that one to you because i created it it's me that i created scraping wood uh, i did yeah i've been here for ten thousand years yeah i reincarnate myself and i've created it so i have the patent on it it's called wood scraping and i'm going to give it to you you can use it no yeah, go ahead no problem. Here, look, I'll show it to you again. You can actually see where I've hit. Here, you guys need, you need to tap there. See that go dark? See here, friends? Look, I'll even bring you closer. What kind of guy I am. Sorry, friends. See? So there's obviously a, see, there's a, there's a definite spot there. Watch. And it's probably more so Yeah, I like to give that a little extra here. Let's try something, friends. You can cut yourself doing this too. You can cut yourself doing anything. You can cut yourself while you're trying to cut yourself. Now that is not very good when that happens to you. When you cut yourself trying to cut yourself, Oh, bucking. Okay, let's do this again. Let's put on some spectacles. 
Let's just leave it in the vise. Why not? Why, I, I say we leave it in the vise. Oh yeah, see? There it goes. Now it actually slips on. But we need more. We need way more. Yeah, it closes it up. So it's good. But what I like to do, and I'm going to share this again. I've done it a thousand times. You guys see me do this. Okay, we're on the head. We're on the wood. We are, we are on. This is going to be a scary axe. I'm just telling you right now. 32 inch handle. The freaking head is a little bit longer because these are a skookum handle. I don't think I'll octagon this. It doesn't suit it. The head's smooth. It's beautiful. It's not going to suit it. Uh, unless somebody, you know, oh, this is crazy, friends. Look at, look at this. Look at it. Like, it, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So you can wreck it. You can, you can wreck it. So here's what I do. I literally come over here, literally, by the way, a couple of cracks. That's it. One or two pounds. That's all. Then I shut the door because I feel the cold air coming in. But I got my air here, so I got to flick the air out like that and then shut my door. Check my wood stove. I say we put a little wood on the old wood stove here. Yeah. Oh, she's ripping now. Yeah, let's, let's get her going here. See how's our back wall? Good. I don't like cooking it. I was thinking about putting symbols, old symbols to keep the wood heat because you got to have a shield there, right? So I don't burn it real hot. Back to the axe. Bucket, settle down. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we're doing better now. Right? You see what I mean? We got wood to take. I'm not going to sand it. No freaking way I'm going to sand it. No. Over and out. Okay. Now, we are, we're going over here, friends. Yeah, we are. You, well, sure we are. Yeah, because we got the whole gamut. Look at you guys can check everything out now. The whole, we got the whole gamut in our hands. We got the whole gamut. Why don't we get rid of this? There, the sign is gone. See, now you get to see the wood stove. I'm very conscious about my subscribers. I like you guys to see a nice visual. Now, I'm back on the spoke shave, friends. I got my axe head right beside me. I got a great little spoke shave here, nice and sharp. And I'm starting to fit, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this fit amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little wood, and then we're going to throw the axe head on like this. Actually, I can feel something right there that needs to change right now. There it goes. These handles, and you can look down your eye too. And, and Yeah, see? Oh, is that right? Yeah, it is good. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, see, we, we've got wood to take. We've got quite a bit of wood to take. So we start doing it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, bucking, you're losing it. You tell me, I'll tell you right now. Okay. Who's having fun? You gotta have fun, friends. You've got to laugh at yourself. You don't got to do nothing, but it sure is fun. Now, I don't know if you'll see this. Well, let's do this. Okay, I'm starting to get excited. I'm starting to get really freaking excited. Because I've just... Oh, this is... This is... Of course it's straight on. This is going to be... Oh, this is a big axe. This is like an RV. This is a big axe. Oh, 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 oh. oh that other one's bugging me. That one that's off kinked a little bit. It's bugging me. But I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. And I'm just going to sell it like that. And to the fellow who gets it and he knows it. And it's just going to be a straight up wedge banger. Mean wedge banger. Okay? Oh, friends. <laughs> Look, we've been through this. I know we have. Look. Curlage. Okay? Try and find a space there, friends. Try and find a freaking space. It ain't happening. Just once in a while you get them where they're good, you get a good start, right? Gosh darn it. 
This is a really nice axe. Damn. And bang wedges. Oh dear. Combo wedge banger wood splitter. Okay, that's the deal. All right? Okay. I think I know who it is. <laughs> okay. This is the cool part. Can you guys see in there? See the curve? It's still open. Very important. It's still open. Let's take a look at what we need to do. So once we did that, so now let's pop this out. Where's my favorite hammer? Right there. And I'll tell you why it's my favorite hammer. Wouldn't it be yours too? Hmm. Yeah. Now, the landfill rat. I talked to the landfill rat today. Peter, Peter, how are you, my friend? What am I doing and what am I looking for? Did I bury it? Bucking, get with it. There it is. Capiche. Check it out. Bang. Right? Bang. Yeah. Talk to you in a minute. I just give it another scrape, friends, with this. What I literally did was just, you know what I mean, scrape. I didn't, I didn't do any wood rasping that time. Or pardon me, uh, spoke shaving. No, let's watch. Look. See. <sighs> you know, I guess... I guess after you do things long enough, friends, things start to work out. Let's just tap it. Let's just, let's see. Oh, dear Lord. Whoever's getting this freaking axe, I'm telling you right now, if, the, if they didn't, if they soaked it in linseed, that's out of my hands. I don't like when they do it. I'll be honest. But the handles are phenomenal. They are absolutely ah, freaking nominal. Okay, look, look where we're at. <laughs> it, oh my goodness gracious look at this i'll show you something see that's why it pays in this game friends to just be patient don't get hasty don't do it that's our curve right that's our curve right there that's a good sign that's a really good sign let's knock this out of here we're freaking at the top this is gonna be a wicked axe. Straight up wicked. I'm stoked about it. Sunday, wicked. <laughs> hey, let's do it. You guys hanging around? Yeah, okay, good. Wow, where's my piece of steel I like to use the most for doing this banging out thing? Gosh, I got some nice axe heads. Thanks to everybody that sends axe heads here. I love you people. You help this community like crazy. But I'm, there it is, found it. My little square piece, friends. Watch this. Schlunk. Out it comes. And and here's the issue. <laughs> hi. 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 Curl everywhere. <laughs> hey friends. Oh, these handles. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do it with you. Come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on over. Yeah, there, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. <laughs> Told you I was in a good mood. Okay. Friends, I'm scraping now. I'm not, rem I'm not removing wood this way. I'm scraping down at the bottom now. I don't need to scrape anymore up top. That ax went on. And I'm not going to take a bunch either, friends. Because I once you go past the curve, do you understand what I'm saying? Like your curve, once you go past it, you can afford to be a little bit tighter. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it, it goes on, it literally wedges itself on, and then the curve opens up. It's a mwah, beautiful thing, beautiful. So I'm literally just taking from the line down. That's it, that's all I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not going above the line anymore because it went on so beautifully. And I'm not taking a ton either, I'll tell you that right freaking now. Like I might even stop right there. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm gonna. I'm gonna flip it around. You, are you guys with me on this one? You, you're, 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 you're with me, right? Let's do this one now. You can see it, right? Right there? Okay. I 
Okay, I, I just want to try this, friends. <laughs> I just want to see. I just want to see what happened. Okay, let's do it. Let's go for it. Oh, this is gonna be a scary. Watch, watch. Well, oh, you're right here. Watch. <sighs> okay, this is good. This is really good. It didn't go schlunk all the way down. So now, now I'm past the curve. You guys follow? I'm past the curve. You get it, right? I'm, I'm, I'm past the curve. So now if it got tighter, it wouldn't really matter. It's not gonna squeeze the freaking head together, right? It's not gonna squeeze that together. That's not gonna change. <laughs> you got that right. Oh dear. Oh dear. See? <laughs> the wood slasher. See? Oh, here, let's do this. Dark. See this? See the little bit of curl? Yeah. You see it. I know you do. I know you do. I know you're just playing with me. Let's do this. Let's knock it out. Let's knock it off. Knock it off, fucking. There it is. That's all you need. It'll slide right out. Oh, look at that. Schlunk. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> now! Yeah. Friends. I'm just gonna do some more scraping. I mean, you can hang around and watch if you want, uh, but that's that's what I do, friends. Th this is how I do this stuff. I have my own technique. I, I don't get hasty. I don't take too much. Where in the heck are you guys doing? There. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna try that. I'm putting this thing on. Watch this. Check it out. No more playing around. It's done. It's on. I just felt it hit my hand. There it is. Shaklank. She's at the top. It's even over a bit. So now I can see that I've got curl everywhere. See it? It's there. It's at the top. It's at the back. It's at both sides. It's everywhere, friends. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm so far down, I'm going to put you guys back. I'm literally going to do a little bit of fine finishing work there just so that I get it to seat right down, friends. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna hang with you and we're gonna do the wedge pounding and the whole gamut on this thing. But I'm just gonna take a minute. You guys have seen enough of the scraping show. I'm just going back to do some more of it. I'll talk to you in a minute, over and out. But before I leave, I wanna show you something. I just came back to show you that. Look at it, friends. Freaking look at this thing. I could literally, friends, honestly, I could take the, 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 the big hammer now, flip this upside down and ba-boomba, 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 I could, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Uh, I've made enough of these things that, that I know that you can actually break the wood. You can, you can, it's, it's, it's thicker there. It needs to, we need to do that one more time or two. Okay, friends. So what I done is I, I, I really like an octagon handle. It just makes so much sense to me. You know what I mean? I've talked about it. The hands, right? The hands. One, two, three, right? Four, right? Five, six, seven, eight, right? It just makes sense. Okay, friends. So this is another very important thing. I can't even use that wedge anyways. They've, they've, they've actually lengthened their kerf on these handles. And that's very interesting that HB would do that because, halter force, because it was one of the things that I thought they could improve on. I've been using these handles for a long time, friends. And when you sink a head down and their, their kerf was always a little low, I always ended up lengthening it. Well, guess what? Check this out. Not no more. Look at, look, I put my thumb against it and then I just pull it out. Look at that. Check this out. Two thirds of the axe, friends. It's all you need. All right, friends, this is the moment of truth. This is a custom made wedge. 
Jatoba. It just, I love the Jatoba. We need to thank the G-Man Lip Ripper for all his help over the years with our wedges, friends. And Hot Rod Vintage Rod Shop in, in Vancouver. He made us some wedges too. So I uh, I put a little I put a little glue on my wedges. Uh, through the years, I've seen wedges fall right out. <laughs> just yeah, you just do it. You just do it if you're making axes. Glue them up. Glue them up, friends. This axe head is down. Let's put some glasses on. It's down. Okay. Okay. You know what? I, I'm not going with this. I'm, I'm not having it. Uh, I can't see nothing because there's dust on these glasses. I got to clean them off right now. And I'm going to use my famous red Mac jacket that if you ever find one, make sure you freaking stick it in your bag and keep it and take it home and cherish it. Right? Now I can see. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I'm going to stick this right in there now. I want you guys to see something. I want you to see and I want to share this. See the curve? Okay. See the little bit of space on the sides? Like hardly any at all. The main space is in the middle. Here's how big my wedge is, friends. It is not thick. Friends, it's not. It's not. Now, but I have it designed to go in like this. Let's see what happens. Uh, I, I think it'll go all the way just because of what's going on here. But before I do that, you guys got me? You can't see. Oh yeah, of course you do. There you are, right there. Now, I hold this down. I do, I hold it down. And I, and I start it like this. Okay, I got a good feeling. Very good feeling. Okay, see, so, so there's the first poundings. It's beautiful, went in very nice. We've still got a quarter inch to go. This is a nice job. We're, it, it's going all the way home. See, that's where the work gets done, right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's where the work gets done, friends. So there it is. Jatoba's amazing wood. It's amazing. It could have been a little teeny bit thicker, maybe. Um, but but I, I continuously continuously sink them right to the bottom. I never used to years ago, but I do now. That's a beaut, it's gone, right to the floor. Okay, and it was, I, you, you saw, you saw me how I hit it with a big ax. So it's a beautiful fit. It's a nice, nice fit. Friends, here's a little tip, okay? Seriously, and this is straight up business. When you're not using your ax, say it's, say it's the summer, and you store, you, you leave it, do, do, here it is in a nutshell. If you leave your axes outside in the hot sun, your handle's gonna shrink. It takes on moisture in the winter, takes, takes its wood. That's what wood does, friends. So if it's not treated and you don't take care of your tools, your tools are gonna show the signs of that, okay? So, here, let's hit that. There, um, right, friends? So just don't store them in the heat. Don't store them in the heat. Okay. This is nice. Hey, let's go do something. I would have, in a perfect world, for me in a perfect world, if it was a touch thicker, I would have liked it. But guess what? We got steel wedges. We're going to, you know, but I'll show you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go beat the pulp out of it. Let's go for it. This is a nice axe. This is a really nice axe. You know what I do? I beat my axes now. You guys... You guys remember when, uh, you guys remember when I, uh, did the saw thing, the competition saw? Check it out, friends. Dead square. Hey. <laughs> Here, let's get you guys.
<laughs> so you got to remember, friends, when you're banging a wedge or wood, it gives. That's not giving any. It's just straight up blunt smack. Yeah, so that's the test I give them every time after I seed an axe before I put steel wedges into it. This is a crazy, crazy axe. Get out of there so it doesn't focus in on my white beard. So, I gotta tell ya. Woo -hoo -hoo! Over and out, friends. Hey, I'm just gonna stamp it and the wood slasher, friends. Full on, 36 inch, or pardon me, 32, friends, 32. Just, just a freaking beauty big axe. The wood slasher. <laughs> I love it. Wood slasher. Get a better name. Love it. You know what I think? My wood slasher is here. Where are you, wood slasher? Oh, there you are. I can tell by your handle. <laughs> right there. There's my wood slasher. <laughs> it's got a really fat profile on her, but there she is. The wood slasher. Kelly works. It's right there. Somebody give it to me. I love it. I do. I love it. It's got to be a, a similar axe, but not the same. Beautiful. Okay. And there's that crazy freaking wood banger, uh, wedge banger I made the other day that's kinked on the head. It was, it was bent and beat and gosh, it was beat up. But it is just that. A beat up, barbaric freaking wedge banger. Yeah, it's deadly. Over and out, friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.